One day um, we saw that this house that Van Gogh lived in was coming up for auction. It was very, very dilapidated. Nobody cared about it. There was a blue plaque outside, but nobody really cared about the Van Gogh story. And then when James saw this and saw that the house where Van Gogh had lived as a young man was being so unloved, he thought we've got to do something about it. We have to save it for the nation. This job started off obviously as a very creative thing because we had the building that was in complete ruins. Um, and we had to think about what this organisation would be, what the house would be able to host, um, what the house would look like. Um, so there was a lot of just building it completely from scratch. Since we bought almost 12 years ago, yeah, and uh, you can imagine that time, the condition of the house, almost a collapse. I haven't seen inside before we bought the house. So we tried to get a planning permission. Of course, we need the money. So I have been working very hard to try to find the money, cash money to pay the worker, to find a good worker. So we tried to talk to the council, we tried to talk to the government, and uh, no hope, very difficult. Because we are not going to decorating just like a you know, normal house. We try to make it like a heaven, a temple for artists. Obviously, from my perspective, as someone who has a design background, I ended up doing a lot of the design work on the house. So thinking about an old building, how this old building might tell the story of Van Gogh who lived here, as well as allow new artists to come and put their own mark on the house as well. Um, and that was a really, really interesting process that took a few years, to be honest, to be able to get to the point um, where we felt like we knew what we were actually doing. Um, the obviously really fun parts like commissioning artists to um, add little sculptures in the house, um, inviting people to make curtains as well for the building. And throughout the house there's loads and loads of hidden little moments where I've contributed or we've invited other artists to be able to add their mark. We have several strands to our programming. First and foremost we are a site that conserves this chapter of Van Gogh's life. Oh, we run tours at the end of every month welcoming visitors who want to learn about this topic. Secondly, as a sort of living house, we are an artist residency, so a large part of the year we run artist residencies, both the UK-based and international artist residents. Um, thirdly, we are also a site for exhibitions, events, performances and commission work as well. Fourthly, we do a lot of community and education work in the local, uh, in the local community, and that's really important to us as well. Reactions are always really positive, which is really nice. My favourite question to ask is how did you find out about the house? Because sometimes people will tell you they watch a news story or they read a news article or maybe they're local and they saw Van Gogh House being renovated and they just didn't get a chance to come and visit before. Over the last year we've welcomed around uh, eight artist residents to the house. Now that's really supported um, their careers and it's, for many it's been at a crucial point of their careers, whether it's recently graduated from university or it's at a point uh, where they want to do a particular larger project. Now, so much of my work is much more about working with contemporary artists and putting on a programme that you know, members of the public can come and enjoy, um, as well as making sure that artists feel like this is a space that they can actually spend a lot of their creative energy as well. So it's a bit of a mixture, um, but all of the work, I would say, is really creative. I was invited by the house to think about the kind of queer domesticities we find in homes. So this invitation, which I loved, was to think kind of beyond Van Gogh, but also think about the house when it was a boarding house, when there were lots of different people living here together and a kind of alternative family set up. Um, we have also had a huge amount of impact in terms of the community partners that we work with as well. Um, I decided to work at Van Gogh House to put on an event that was around uh, young people connecting with nature. So Van Gogh House had an amazing project called the Herbarium Project and that was about um, plants and I thought it'd be great to get young people who may feel a bit traumatised within school environment to get out of school and to do a project based around nature where they could be part of their community, work in nature. That project um, actually won an award, so won an award from Incredible Edible for creating a gardening space within a very strange environment. 
We like to think that we have had a lot of impact both locally in terms of the um, schools programs that we run, the amount of um, primary school children that have been able to interact with this part of their own local history. The young people interacted in a really, really great way. They enjoyed coming here. Um, I think what was interesting is that, is that the amount of history that they were able to uh, get from coming to Van Gogh House was really helpful. When we bought the, ga the gallery and we bought this house, the, the agents at the time said that so many local people had written to them saying it would be a real shame if developers took over these properties and turned them into flats. And so we've been able to actually um, turn them into something that is working with local artists, international artists. We like to think that we have had an impact just in opening up the house for people to come and see it. It was a private residence for a very long time and the fact that we now have exhibitions here and we have tours here allows the general public to come into the house and see this um, and view and interact with this heritage in a way that they would never would have been able to before. Two things that stand out um, as really memorable for my work is just meeting loads of people from the community is just amazing because London is such a big space but having something that looks like a house but is actually an art gallery and a community space and encourages young artists is just so lovely so you get to meet so many different people just learning about their lives and their experiences um, and then also being supported as a, um, a young artist and staff member of Van Gogh House to give back in ways that I want to such as running workshops and having conversations with people um, and actually being encouraged to be a young creative similar to um, I guess Van Gogh when he was younger um, and was exploring the world of art. So that's my favourite things. Van Gogh House is the best place to work. It's such a lovely atmosphere and I think there's such a strong tie between being able to tell a story, being able to allow for um, artists to make new work, but also to create an environment where other people feel comfortable and something that they can just really enjoy is the space and the atmosphere of the building. And I think all of those things have to work together with our programme to make a kind of a healthy ecosystem. I think we've also, over the last five years, we've, we've built up this amazing project and it's been, um, we've put a lot of our own passion into it. But I think now it's getting to the stage where to, to make it bigger, better, sustainable, it needs to maybe move slightly outside our own family and bring in more expertise and more advisors and more funding. Um, and then we can make it a sustainable project that's not just reliant on our own passion, but to involve everybody else in that passion. We also bought a space not far from here, Sami Gallery. Sami in English, that means uh, three sisters, which is my daughters. And uh, we're also running more than six, seven years now. And uh, we help so many international, local art students, not only for you know, painting, also for installation, sculpture, music. So we should continue doing like that. And we also have an opportunity to make the Van Gogh House extended. We're not a profitable earning company. So I say, you know, we just try to give it back to keep this beautiful history, unique story building forever. Like I said, we're very open. Get more fund, more support, and get more artists being promoted from here.